I'm Matthew Lebo. I'm a professor and chair in the Department of Political Science. I research American politics, uh, public opinion, presidential elections, congressional elections. And over the last 10 years or so, and especially the last three or four years, studying American politics, what's become, you know, the all important factors are just partisanship and negative partisanship. So while we used to study how does the economy affect elections, now it's all about um, people wanting to elect their side, people wanting to make sure that the other side doesn't win. And so basic things like facts and objective economic um, uh, um, performance just don't seem to matter as much as they used to. And so political scientists are trying to explain that phenomenon, trying to catch up, trying to look at, well, what can predict elections when the most important factors, you know, who, who identifies as a Democrat versus who identifies as a Republican, when those factors change so little from one election to the next. You know, the study of American politics has usually been very self-contained. Um, but the, the work that I do and the theories, you know, they're intertwined with theories in comparative politics. What's going on in American politics now is, is you know, best understood looking at other democracies who've gone through serious declines and challenges. Um, and uh, understanding, you know, what are, the, what are the factors that keep a democracy going over the long term. To understand those, you really need to be looking at other democracies. And as they've transitioned from being, you know, fully functional and healthy democracies into something less healthy, um, you know, we, American politics doesn't have that experience. They have sort of, since the Civil War, a long-term trajectory of slowly becoming more democratic. And now that they're going in the opposite direction, you really need to study other countries as well to understand it.